Welcome to Professor Srinidhi's classes. This video is about flight vehicle design, conic lofting. We will be learning about lofting, conic lofting and a five step method of construction of the conic curves. Starting with the video. The process of defining the external geometry of the aircraft is called as lofting. Another term related to it is production lofting. It is the most detailed form of lofting. It provides very minor details like intake and exhaust ducts of an air conditioning as well as provides an exact mathematical definition of the entire aircraft. In machine designing, two extreme permissible sizes of a part between which the actual size is contained is called as limit. Here, what I mean to say is production lofting is so accurate that the range of the limit while designing is within a few hundreds of an inch, maybe even lesser. This shows that while production lofting, you can design and fabricate different parts in different plant sites and still they will fit together perfectly during the final assembly. What is the story behind the term lofting? How it came into existence is that lofting gets the name from shipbuilding. The definition of the hull shape was done in the loft over the shipyard using huge drawings. And then to provide a smooth longitudinal contours which you can see here, the points taken from one particular cross section were connected longitudinally on the drawing by flexible splines which you can see here this spline they are long thin wood or plastic rulers held down at certain points by the lead ducts this technique was also used in aircraft in very early periods but they showcased two major disadvantages. Number one, it takes a lot of trial and error and then we get a result of smooth cross section and also longitudinally. Number two, the method does not provide a unique mathematical definition of the surface. It takes a tremendous amount of drafting effort to create a new cross section, especially the cross section cut at uh, some angle or canted cross section. And also there is a problem of uh, mismatched errors. These things are also possible. Because of these problems, a new method of lofting was incorporated. Conic lofting. Of course, there are still modern methods like computer aided lofting hence conic lofting come under a traditional lofting method which is most widely used and also all modern methods are based on this conic lofting you know like a foundation now conic conic is a mathematical curve form a conic is a second degree curve like the circle, ellipse, parabola and hyperbola. All these curves come under conic family. Take a cone, then cut it. The shape of what you get in this cut cross section is your conic curve. If the cut is flat, then the resulting curve is a circle. It is quite simple. Likewise, when you cut the cone in this fashion, you get an ellipse. The section of it is shown here. When you cut in this way, 
parabola is generated that is this one and when you cut perpendicularly we get a hyperbola how to construct these curves accurately how to construct these curves geometrically that's the question let me explain the steps to construct these conic curves a five step method starting from step 1 that is a starting point and an end point to the curve let they be point a and point b now draw tangents to these two points the intersecting point will be c the shape of conic between the points a and b is defined by some shoulder point s so the points will be a b c and s step 2 a line is drawn from point a passing through s and another line is drawn from b passing through s a line is drawn from point a passing through s and b passing through s step 3 now draw a line from point c at an arbitrary angle the arbitrary angle is related to type of curve whether it is ellipse parabola or hyperbola from this line from point point c uh, will intersect at two points uh, of line as and line bs step 4 now draw a line from point a passing through this intersection drawing a line from point a passing through this intersected point and then draw another line from point b passing through this second intersected point this lines these dotted lines intersect at a new point that is point p this is the final point one of the points in the circumference of the curve the conic curve step 5 the final step is to make these additional points that is additional points of point p when you repeat all these previous four steps you can make the additional point repeat it with the different arbitrary angles you will get multiple points 1 2 3 4 then these points are connected and a french curve is drawn and therefore the conic curve is generated and hence the conic lofting this is the end of the video stay tuned to the channel for more thank you